hi everyone and welcome to my channel today is friday and happy happy freedom friday to you and your family well today i am here again my name is malaka Bagdu. i am holistic nutrition health coach and i am here to encourage you as you guys already know that i have a habit of pounding courage into my heart you know i learned once by a wise man that every time you meet people somebody that is more than you or somebody that you think accomplished more than you you don't tell them about yourself but you actually ask them questions and from that day you know i started just finding questions just in case i will meet someone one day who is greater than i who accomplish so much than i so i can ask questions so today i take you as my audience like a wise person like someone that god is leading someone that god is doing things you like someone that has so much goal and we are learning this is the age of learning guys um ladies and gentlemen so for today my question for you is what hold you back okay what hold you back you know as i'm pounding this question tomorrow because this is why there's so much that i want to do in life there's so much that i want to impact there's so much that i want to be able to i mean i love traveling i love impacting people i like um helping people become who they want to be what god really you know prescribed for them to be so as you know on this channel as we're talking about spirituality and we're also talking about this channel is not just good just for us to come here and just have some little talk but actually it's to go deep to go deep and find out our wise so like i said before i found out that something is holding me back because i'm not able to accomplish all the things that i want to do yeah although i am still young but i want to accomplish them I want to start making them now because you never know. We all have a number, right? But I do know by the grace of God that God will give me and will continue to strengthen me and strengthen you to accomplish your goal. So, what hold you back? That is the question. Start pounding that right now. Are you already working out everything that you want to do? Have you accomplished your A, Y, and Z? In all your list that you have, your list of do and your list of dream, have you done them all? If the answer to all this, I mean, have you, if you like to travel, have you been to places that you want to go? You know, is, is your, your dream come to, come to already, came to already? Is your dream become a reality already? Are you right now coaching others? Are you transferring, are you passing the baton, the baton? If all of this question, your answer is no, then I'm telling you, ladies and gentlemen, something is holding you back. And it doesn't matter how long you've been living. Because the last time I checked in the Bible, David was only a young man, but God used him. And so much of others. So you and I can also be used. Today, if there's any area in your life, I want you to check it. What hold you back? Two weeks ago, I've been pondering this question. And even later, it becomes so much real to me. I look over those, this year, 2022. And I'm looking my journal. I'm looking my agenda. I, I'm looking things that I, I, it was written down. And I'm asking myself, that's more. That's more than I want to do. Why I'm not doing that? Well, I figured out. I figured out, and I want you to join me on this. Are you ready? I figured out what hold me back was fear. This is so interesting, okay? You know we all experience fear. Fear is an emotion, isn't it? But that's one thing that I found out, and I want to share with you right now. Pay attention. There is fear. That's true. It's natural. We all feel you can have a, a feeling of emotion that uh, you're afraid right now. Actually, scientifically, fear was part of our human being. It's the experience that we all, I mean, if, if you are human, you will fear fearful. And even animals have to sense this also. They fear for their lives sometimes with other animals that want to even want to eat them or become a prey. Okay? So fear is not, let's say, is a bad thing. But that's a caveat. All right? Fear, like I say, is an emotion. We all feel in it. But even sometimes we say, you know, like your body, like right now you go into a jungle and there's an animal and you are afraid of your life, for your life, right? There's a fight or flight. That's your body will respond. It's a, it starts with your mind, right? Now. But there is a, a chemical, okay, that started, but there is an action, a physical action about it. You will feel, you feel in your mind, but also it's when you react with your body. Some people even start running. Some people will start doing things, you know, to let others know that they are in danger. All right. And then you need to calm down. You need because when you are afraid, just what your cortisol go high, your body start releasing, your nervous system start attacking. And we have to breathe and let that go. Now, 
That is the scientific proof of fear. I'm talking about that emotion. Now I want to talk deeper about the fear that I really want to do today. According to the Bible, actually, there's a two type of fear. And you will see me going, read, because I want to read, I want to make sure that, you know, what I found out, I'm reading them to you correctly, actively, okay? So, um, according to, I like this guy right here. He's always, you know, um, go down to the Bible. Um, it's the Bible God question, okay? So let me read to you how he defined fear. The Bible mentioned two specific types of fear. The first type is beneficial and is non detrimental. It is encouraging for our well being. The second type is detrimental and so we have to overcome it. Okay? So the first type of fear is fear of the law. And you guys hear this all the time the fear of the law, what is the beginning of wisdom? When we fear God, we are care wisdom. What is that type of fear? That type of fear is when we are awake. Of his of his wonders away of who he is when we are reverent to who he is and everything that god said that he is okay that is not something that we should be like a fear is not like we are afraid that we are in danger all right so is a reverence you away of god is a reverence for his power and glory however it is also a proper respect for his weapon anger god also do have you know anger and wrath when we do things that is not according to god when we don't repent that's the consequence to all our action. When God said that I will go after my children, I will, you know, and lock in the door to the generation, the default and third generation. He's not, he's not joking. We read back in the, in the, um, especially, you know, like Old Testament, you know, how God, God's wrath, God's anger on nation that are so rebellion to him, to his way. So we need to be aware of that also. So knowing that the fear of God, which come through knowing him and his attribute, who God is. Fear of the Lord bring, brings with it many blessings. When we fear God, like I said before, we have wisdom, we have knowledge, we understand it. All right? So the fear of the Lord leads to wisdom. That's Psalms 11 10. When you read that, only food despite wisdom and discipline. Proverbs 1 7 says, Furthermore, fear of the Lord leads to life, rest, peace, and contentment. Proverbs 19 23 says that it is the fountain in life. It is the fountain in life when we fear God. And also in Proverbs 14, 27, it says, It provides a security and a place of safety for all of us. So when you look also in Proverbs 14, 26, God talking about his fear, the proper fear. I would say that the, the true fear, okay, which is the fear of God. All right. Now, what type of fear that God doesn't want us to have? This is one right here. We can see that fearing God should be encouraged. However, the second fear mentioned in the Bible is not beneficial at all. Because the Bible said this on Timothy 1, 7. It said, for God not giving us, you and I, the spirit of fear, but just the spirit of love, power, and a sound mind. That is the type of fear that you and I need to quench to. That's the one you and I need to make sure that we don't, you know, we don't associate ourselves to. That's what I want to say, actually. Not quench to that, but actually detach ourselves from that. But let me let me ask you this. Or you can, you can say, Angel, I mean, are we out to fear this i mean it is normal for us to be fearful yeah i would say yeah at some point you know you can feel the fear but what you do with your fear that's what that's that's what is the big deal what you what have you done with your fear lately okay so if you what is that type of fear anyway like that detrimental fear that's the one where all the if let's say right now you have something that you want to do and you start feeling so fearful to the point that you don't want to start it you have all the argument if this and if that and, and what other people want to say that type of fear that's what the lord that's what we call the spirit of fear that's the fear that god doesn't want us to have because when something is a spirit just what it goes to your core to the to the value to who you are it touched your soul so that one is is so detrimental to the point that it's not going to let lead you to anything that is good You'll be afraid of start your dream, afraid of even being rich with people, afraid to express yourself. That's the spirit of fear. It's always present, always want to make you do things that is, you know, um, are not of God. That's the fear that God said, no, don't be fear because I did not give you the spirit of fear, but I give you love, power, and a sound mind. Sound mind means have, be in a right mind, okay? So, now, when I do some little research also, I found out that, there's some acronym of fear, yo, that I really want you to listen right now. It's so for me, it's, it's very interesting. Okay, <laughs> fear somebody said, face everything. Okay, face everything and rejoice. I like that one. So, every time you see fear come to your way, 
define it yourself define something positive this one said face everything and rejoice so i also learned that what makes me be afraid every day or what i am afraid or fearful every day i need to make sure that i do that very thing when it's learning with the word of god like right now if i want to open a business and i'm so afraid i need to check it out is what i'm trying to do is going to benefit to people is what i'm trying to do is learn with the word of god okay now i am afraid of of because i have that type of goal that i want to accomplish because maybe if people or people may not like you or people are going to judge me you know that that's not from god if something that learn of the word of god, god is not going to come to do his own word okay god give us dream and he give us good ability to accomplish we are potential and god wants us to develop all our potential before we die okay so you need to analyze your fear what my fear come from what it is come from it's come from the inner it's come from because something happened in my own experience because sometimes what i found out is your own experience is the blocker i mean they will block you from going to your next level all right so another um acronym is a fear is a false emotion um appealing real i like this one too i think that's what it is fear is false it's for we know that it's not true okay it's not true it's a false emotion appearing real it sounds real but it's not true what hold you back my question again it's something you want to do right now you're thinking about it and you feel so much convinced that the lord tell you to do it but you're afraid of what people are going to do to you how people are going to judge you you want to go to there's a job you want to uh you're trying to get the offer and you're afraid or oh, there's a business you're trying to do or oh, there's a relationship you're trying to put on you afraid what is it what hold you back you want to go to it you want to travel and you're afraid that what other people your friend might say oh that's a position a community that you want to take and you're afraid what hold you back what hold you back to accomplish the very thing god tell you to do god told you to do what hold you back to be financial free i found out mine is fear and i'm working on it i want you to join me also work on your fear define get this acronym there's another one that's uh, um i like this one this one back um Ziegler, that's a a, a a a thinker, and I really like his definition. I actually, call it as anxiety. Anxiety is nothing but what repeatedly experiencing fear in advance. When we're thinking about fear, it's not true. It's something made it up. It's a fake. And the and the you know and the worst thing is that it's a wasting of time. While we sit down thinking about what other people are gonna say. Oh, okay, maybe if I do it, it didn't work out. So what? Who cares? Did it anyway. Do it. At least that can be your part. You know what? I did something like this two months ago. Okay, now I found out. So sometimes we are afraid of experiencing. And if you are like me, you are an entrepreneurial arena, you can be afraid of just go for it and see what's going to happen. Why we can be afraid? Because we trust God. And in order, the first element, I've said the first remedy to fear is trust God. When we trust God. Because the Bible said that, you know what? Fear cast out um the love cast out fear who doesn't love just if you don't love you're gonna be afraid because there's no fear in love because perfect love cast out fear so today if you didn't learn nothing from me today or whatever i'm speaking today knowing that when you are afraid define define your why why am i afraid is my fear come from a good judgment is my fear come from in you know, on the inside i mean the true me is lana with the word of god if it's not, you need to cast that out. Go for your dream. Go for what God called you to do. Don't be afraid. Do it now. All right? Also, what I do find out also is that there's actually seven, okay, area. This is this is from a study, okay? And I'm just going to give you right, right there. And you can, or you can yourself find out which category or which one you are dealing with right now, okay? This is a personal. So there's a seven type of fear, okay? First, the rule of the rule follower fear some people they are afraid okay that's what they just they become just a rule follower they just follow the rule because they are afraid okay some people are procrastinators some people just procrastinate oh i'll do it tomorrow let me ask you this what hold you back to accomplish that degree what hold you back to get that house you've been longing for what hold you back to get that job what hold you back to settle and have your family what hold you back to be that executive leadership to be the leader that god god called you to be what hold you back to be the person to be that good neighbor that god wants you to be what hold you back 
what hold you back to accomplish the A1 and Z? I'm asking all these questions, pounding this because I wanted to get to your, to your spirit. We are on this earth because God called us to do something. There's a kingdom mandate that you and I need to produce. If we don't produce that to the world, then we are a thief, a generational tie thief. Yes, this is so true. If you come to this life, you don't produce what God called you to do, then you are actually, you, you, it's like you are taking something away from the next generation. You and I can do better. We all need to produce what God called us to do because you will see. God didn't say be seedful. He said be fruitful because he already know that you have a seed and you're going to produce that seed one day. All right? So another fear is that some people are fear of uh, outcast. Okay, you know what? I'm already, I can't fit in. I'm already outcast. So I'm just going to do whatever. But just what? You don't have to. You don't have to fit in. Just be you. There's another one, self doubter. Oh my goodness, all of us experience this all the time. Oh, maybe I can't do it. Oh, maybe I mean, I that was me, doubt. And you know what? The person that doubts a lot can't have nothing from that. And that's what the Bible says. I have to uh, encourage myself, I have to win myself, I have to make myself not doubt so much because sometimes I'm looking on my experience, sometimes I'm looking at my circumstances, sometimes I'm looking at those that went before me, sometimes I'm looking at what people are saying to me. You know what I'm telling you? I overcome all of them in the name of Jesus. You also need to overcome all of them. You can doubt because the person that, that cannot have nothing at all. Because when you doubt, that means you are double-minded. Your faith is not stable. All right? Another one is being pessimist. Always seeing the negative. Everything. Doesn't matter. The shape, the form, that thing, something get presented to you. Always seeing the negative side. We need to stop it. We need to see things the way God sees them. I know you can do it. I know you are able. I know you have ability. I know God has something special. You are special. You know what? Look on your finger of your hand. Look the trace of your finger. That let you know already that you are unique on your own. Nobody else on this planet. Seven point billion people. Nobody have your the 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 prints on your hand. Your footprint is different. That let me know that you can do it because you are unique. It doesn't matter if you go into another arena that there's a lot of people already. Let me know, like, you want to have a YouTube channel? There's something that will cry up on you that you want to do? Is there that that dream won't leave you alone? And may, just what you, maybe like, that was me. Oh, maybe how many people are already doing that? And look, the, I mean, the YouTube is flooded with people. Just what I am unique on my own. You know, I may not have a lot of people around. But I thank you for 71 people that are here. Thank you for you for being here. I know we are going somewhere. Just stick with me. All right? And so I am also have that same faith for you because I know you can do it. If I can overcome that and open this channel, actually, I know you can do the same. And there's another channel that is coming out. That one is for cooking where I will show you actually how to cook healthy food, delicious healthy food. So stick with me, okay? As I'm praying for you, you also pray for me. That's another fear we call excuse maker. Oh, I can't do this because I have five kids. I can't do this because I have seven kids. I can't do this because my boss won't let me. Oh, I can't do because I'm getting off from work so late. Oh, I can't do because I, I got this issue. I am on medication. Oh, no, I, I can't because I'm disabled. Because, oh, I can't speak. Oh, I can't speak English right. That was me. Oh, I get big accent. Oh, actually, English is not my first language. Oh, no, people want to understand what I'm saying. But I am here. I am here and I'm striving. I am here and I'm pushing to all the barriers. Today, my wish for you is push all the bar. Push past the limits. Go for it. Only the sky has the limits. You can do it. My question again, what hold you back? Until you find what hold you back, you cannot move on. So today, as a homework, let all of us go in and write out why. Why you want to succeed. Why you are where you are right now. Why your goal are not being fulfilled. If it's a fear, now you know what to do. Clench to the fear of God. That's the only thing. But the spirit of fear, do not let it be on you. Every time you feel it, you have to rebuke it. In the name of Jesus, I am overcoming. In the name of Jesus, I will do A, Y, and Z. So, ladies and gentlemen, I thank you so much for being here today. Don't let nothing hold you back. Until next time, I will see you, my friend. Be healthy. Stay healthy. 
and be fearless and pursue what set your soul on fire. Bye for now. Ciao.